Oh, this is a nice treat before I need to hit the showers. Yeah. Mmm. Babe, can you boil eggs for me? So I can make deviled eggs later? Huh? I'm thinking, do nine eggs. Nine for deviled eggs? Yeah. Eighteen deviled eggs? Um, shoot, do ten. Good afternoon. Happy Saturday. It is now officially the afternoon. I've been vlogging bits and pieces of the day and you guys would have seen like a montage of my morning or I should say day so far. It's after 4.30. Oh my god. <laughs> I spent the whole day cleaning. I didn't want to vlog just me cleaning because that stuff can be kind of boring. So I vlogged. I feel like the most interesting parts of my day so far. There's some things I may have forgotten, but essentially I am getting ready to host my brother's baby shower tomorrow. So it's been a full day of kind of like prepping the house, cleaning, getting things set up for the baby shower too. And I'm finally sitting down to catch my breath and just relax a little bit. I am watching the Italian Grand Prix, the qualifying right now, Formula One course I missed it this morning but let me go ahead and give you a little bit of a walkthrough and actually we got the chandelier hung up a couple of days ago I ordered new light bulbs for it but I forgot that it was seven <laughs> and not six so we're missing one light bulb from it but that's okay so let me show you a little bit of everything that is going on at the moment okay First and foremost, I am dying over the chandelier. It is the absolute perfect statement for this space. It's amazing how it just, it goes. It makes the dining room just feel like more grand now. Oh, I am absolutely obsessed with the chandelier. We got it from Restoration Hardware Outlet and surprisingly it's perfection. Like there's nothing wrong with it at all and all the pieces were there. So yeah. Okay, so for the table decor, I wanted just something minimal, something that was cute for those that wanted to sit at the dining room table to eat. So it's just some eucalyptus with a little bit of teddy bears, some pacifiers, and then I'm gonna light the candles as well. I, I love this decor. Oh, and then in the living room, I'm also getting this little area set up to house like the presents diapers, whatever. I have two chairs here that my brother and his fiance can sit at to open presents or anybody else for that matter throughout the baby shower. And then I have the baby's name up here. I'm gonna have another nephew. His name is gonna be Kylo. And then what you maybe can kind of see a little bit is this stairwell. I have clothespins with different clothes and booties and socks and like all these sort of things. I think it's so cute. And pivoting on over the kitchen, this is very much still a work in progress. Oh, let's see, I have a lot of like serveware just out, things that I might use. I finished up the diaper cake because of the name Kylo. I got a little Star Wars Kylo Ren <laughs> to put on top of the diaper cake. It's really cute. One of the little tissue balls fell just now, even though all of this has been hung up for a couple of days now. And yes, I did all of this myself and by hand. So yeah, that took a hot minute. So I need to get that back up. 
Uh, what else? Some spare eucalyptus. I have some muffins. This is half for me, but I'll put it out for the baby shower as well. Starting to get some of like utensils, napkins and stuff out. And then we boiled some eggs. I'm gonna make deviled eggs. I'm gonna do it tomorrow morning so it's like the freshest, but we at least wanted to get the boiling eggs part out of the way. And you guys, look at this. All of the succulents were dying, so we decided to start anew. I took off the top parts of each of them and I heard that this is the best way to start new with the succulents that you have. It's like you want to dry out the ends a little bit and then some roots will form and then you replant it. Let me know if you guys have experience with this and if you have another way of doing it. Hopefully I don't kill these. If I do, ugh. It's fine, we'll start over. <laughs> so I have the deviled egg platter right here. I got some candles. I think I might put it throughout all of the food. There's some more stuff. I need to put all that stuff away. And then over here, we have a little bin to put like ice and drinks and stuff in. Um, some cups and then I have a few things set out just like immediately. One is we're gonna do a bingo, but like you put on here anything related to babies and then match whatever you're putting on here to these pieces of paper put these pieces of papers in here and this is what we'll draw from so this is kind of fun i made all of this stuff like myself and same with the diaper raffle we are doing that as well so if anyone brings a pack of diapers they can enter to win a nice little prize but otherwise everything in the house is clean we're ready to go Guys, I'm waiting for the sideboard. I still haven't ordered it, <laughs> of course. The saga continues, but I'm like so ready for it. All the trash and everything is gone. Oh, my house feels so clean and amazing. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is sit here for a little bit longer. I'm gonna finish watching qualifying and then I need to figure out what else I need to do. Oh, for sure, I need to clean it downstairs. I kind of threw a bunch of garbage and stuff downstairs. And then I need a vacuum to going down the stairs and just get downstairs a little bit. Okay, and presentable just because people are gonna see it when they first walk in. And then figure out my outfit for tomorrow and a timeline of things that I still need to get done tomorrow morning. But for sure, Tonight I'm also going to make like these little s'mores cups as like a dessert option. So we'll make those together. But for now, I'm gonna chill. My hair is still wet <laughs> from the shower earlier and I've gone, I've gone makeup free all day because I'm trying to give time for like my skin to heal up a little bit. This has been on my face, you guys, for a solid week and a half and it's not like coming to the surface or anything. It's just like chilling on my face. And I'm like, of course you would come right when I'm about to host a party. Like why? Why is that just like always what happens? Nature, what are you doing to me? But that reminds me, I need to drink some water. So yeah, ah, welcome back to a new vlog. <laughs> Oh, these are looking so good so far. I had a little bit extra to make more than the 24, so I had to do it in two batches, but now it's time to dip it in the chocolate. I just melted this, and yes, I made a massive mess. <laughs> Along with making a huge mess, I burnt myself so bad. Can you guys even see it? Right here. Boop. Yeah, so. <sighs> That's fun for me. Okay, let's pop these little bad boys out. All right, let's do this. So while I've been cooking this, <laughs> oh! oops. I also have like pre-cut all the cheese for tomorrow. I got the island completely set up 
with dishes, like serveware stuff that I might use. I can show you guys in a second. I completely cleaned downstairs, cleaned out the litter box <laughs> to make sure that it's smelling good downstairs. Yeah, we've been busy. I made the dip for tomorrow. Ah, you guys, I'm a mess right now. I need to clean up the mess, but here we are. Here's the final product. I'll leave the recipe for these down below. They are such a, like a favorite every single time I cook them and I bring them. They are delicious little s'mores bites. And here's kind of like a little bit of a setup of the islands. I kind of have um, it all scoped out, like what's gonna go in each dish. So that way in the morning, it's like super easy to just put it in its designated spot and we are all ready to go. With that being said, I'm exhausted. And I am sweaty yet again. Juan left and went to the Sounders game. So it's been nice to just have the house to myself to get everything like finished and set up. Although he was helping earlier as well. Let's try one together. Mm, 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 mm. So good. Let's have another one just because. Okay, so I've left the TV on while I've been doing all this and I think I've watched qualifying three times now. That's ridiculous, they keep just like replaying it. <laughs> all right, time for a shower and time to wind down for the night. It's after 7.30 and I so desperately just like wanna chill. Maybe read. just got dressed for the baby shower and I just finished my athletic greens as well yeah you guys I bought athletic greens and this is like day three of drinking it I thought I don't know what I thought <laughs> but it's not that great like it definitely tastes like algae and green stuff I don't know it doesn't taste like the best but we're giving it a try. We're gonna see if we can get used to the taste because I do know that there are like benefits of drinking it. So anyways, if you're curious, I'll keep you updated. Okay, so today's outfit, sun is being a little bit weird. So it was between two outfits, but I think I'm gonna stick with this one. Oh, I don't know, we'll see. So I have on this top from Aritzia and then I have on below these pants from Zara, the ones that I have in like six different colors, so. This is what we're going with. And the zit on my face got larger, so that's a tragedy. Why? I don't get it. Like, I don't have acne, really, for a couple of months. And then right before I'm hosting a party, I get the biggest zit I've had all year. Like, what is life? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> okay, we need to get more set up. My brother is on his way, same with my mom. They were gonna help with like last minute things. But I'm pretty much set up. They're gonna arrive about an hour before the party, but really I am set up, so I think we're all right. I'm learning from my hosting. So that way I'm not still getting things ready when people arrive. So much stress that way. Okay, my brother is here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get all the lights turned on. So excited. So it's actually a couple of days later from the baby shower. It is Tuesday. The baby shower was so much fun. Of course, like when 
you're hosting and you're in it and people are arriving and they want like a tour of the house because a few family members this was their first time seeing the house you get like just swept up in all the busyness so i didn't end up vlogging anything of the baby shower but it was so much fun i really enjoyed myself yesterday was like a blur of busyness as well but yeah now today is tuesday apologize for the state of my appearance and the state of this room that i'm in right now i was just trying on some new clothes that i got in and i was like oh my god i should vlog this so i put on like this this skims satin bodysuit and this is like the kind of vibe that i wanted to go for but i don't think it works for me like this top is so <laughs> booby like my boobs are like popping out of it but i really wanted to look like this for fall to pair with like jeans trousers any sort of bottoms i thought it would look so freaking cute like throw some sort of like button up over top of it so if you can pull this off get it i highly recommend it i got this in a size extra small so i sized up a little bit just to see if um if the sizing up would help with like the cup size I guess it could work. It's just a little outside of my comfort zone and level. <laughs> oh my god, that was a whirlwind of the last five minutes that you guys didn't even see. So I first off, <laughs> I went to go change into this outfit and to get out of like that Skims bodysuit thing. And when I was taking it off, I broke my blister. <laughs> So if you guys recall, when I was cooking, I ended up burning myself pretty bad. But it was weird because it didn't hurt at all. By looking it up, good old Google, I think self-diagnosis here is that it's between a second to third degree burn because it's blistering like crazy, but it doesn't hurt at all. Meaning that I think I killed some of like the nerves in this part. <laughs> but yeah, it popped and then there was like liquid everywhere. Sorry if this is too much for you guys. And so then I was like freaking out trying to like put ointment on it and cover it up and stuff. So anyways, here we are. Oh, and then I wanted to get a bunch of things together just to do a little bit of like a collective haul for you guys too, right? And I realized that I had a ton of things sitting in the mailbox. So I went down to the mailbox with the mail man was there and had it all open i was like oh just trying to get some packages and he opened up he was like oh wow you have a lot i go i know i've been putting it off coming and getting it and then separate from the mailbox there was like another part too and he goes oh here's more i'm like oh my god so he was like laughing at me <sighs> okay now i'm like super hot so let's dive into it i'm going to show you guys some of the things that i've gotten recently and then we're also just going to open <laughs> this pile of packages right next to me too i have no idea what's in them okay so wrapping up on like the skims bodysuits and also like the skims stuff so yes i do like this it was a little bit too booby for me i got it in the size extra small and an extra extra small but because the extra small was already so booby i didn't even try on the extra extra small definitely great for those that have smaller chests there's there's times there's moments that i wish i still had a smaller chest <laughs> and then i also got it in this really pretty brown color but because it's so booby i think i'm just gonna like return them and i also got these new uh cotton underwear to try it's the one with like the logo on the top of them i got these both in a size extra small thinking that that would be my size because it's the same size as the my cotton collection ones but i'm hoping that these are gonna fit i really like the style of these they're like a bikini style and it looks like it sits a little bit more high up too so i'm excited to give those shots bro what is up every single company and store sending text messages now i get a million text messages a day from companies okay and then i also got a pouch from Kuana, Kuana, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I love their stuff, all of like their leather goods, and I have a trip coming up, and I wanted like a new pouch to go in my backpack on the plane, just to kind of be my catch-all and hold a bunch of stuff, and I really liked this black pouch, I like the hidden little zipper too, it's a good size, there's a little pocket in the inside of this as well, this comes in a few colors, I wanted to go like more classic and just get the black one but there's like this stone beige colored one that was really catching my eye too they do have a smaller size in this too but yeah like it i also posted these to my instagram stories yesterday but are you freaking kidding me these are literally the perfect brown booty for fall 
gorgeous color. I love the pointed toe on them and the, like the chunky heel on them and it's not too high either. Oh, they run true to size. They're absolutely gorgeous. I'm very excited about these. They also have these in black and also a cream color too. So I'm kind of tempted you guys to go back for the cream color. But for now, we'll stick with the brown because I have enough black booties and I've gotten a lot of recent cream colored booties so i haven't opened these yet but i've been on the hunt for some knee-high boots to try out i just got these in it's from vince camuto so i'm excited to give them a try i wanted ones that was like more casual but could maybe be dressed up a little bit so that's why i liked this one because it had like a little bit of a heel and it had a square toe on it it looked more casual but not like way too casual so we'll see if those work out i also have another pair it's from the brand Wonder. It's made in Spain. Haven't tried these either. These are more casual of a boot, almost flat, but it has more of a curved toe to them. So these could be really cute too. I don't know, you guys. I'm trying to switch things up, trying to expand my style, trying to find new things. And so we'll see how I do with styling those. I'm not usually one to gravitate towards tall boots. I just really stick with booties and wearing jeans, but... We'll try it out, we'll see. From Amazon, I ended up getting some iPhone 14 cases. Yes, I pre-ordered the iPhone 14. Should be coming later this week. So in preparation for that, I got some cases off of Amazon. I got two green ones. I think I wanted to go green, but I wasn't sure what color green I wanted to go for. So I ended up getting two. So tell me what you guys think. What's your vote? I have this green color and then a little bit darker evergreen too. I think I'm more leaning towards the darker green color. It feels more fall-esque. Honestly, I wasn't even gonna get the iPhone 14, but then Juan ended up upgrading finally. He has like the original iPhone 10 from years and years and years ago. So he was definitely due for an upgrade. I'm really excited for him. But I have the iPhone 13 Pro from last year. But oh, something about this one I had so many amazing improvements to the camera and to video. And with this business, I take a lot of photos and I take a lot of videos with my phone. So it kind of just like made sense to try to get like the latest and greatest. So I'll show it if you guys are interested once I get it in. And then also off of Amazon, I got like this little cute travel pill case. So that way when I go on my trip, I can put my probiotics in here. So my ibuprofen, call it a day. We like that. And then also off of Amazon, I found Adidas Sambas. Of course, this is a kid size, but these are the soccer version versus the regular Samba version. The regular Sambas, they don't go down low enough to fit my size foot, so I try to find them in kids. This, however, I got in a size three, which I should be at three and a half, so it's a little too small. I'm gonna end up returning them. Also, I'm not sure if I'm into this trend, like putting them on my feet. I wasn't like in love with it, but I wanted to try it out. So I think I may just pass on that trend. <laughs> Need some scissors now that I'm getting into the packages that I just picked up from the mailbox. So I ended up getting round two of my muesli for my spot cream for my melasma. I went through the first one, was up for a refill, and I ended up going through and getting it. So I get the spot cream specifically, does it say? So I know that they have different versions of the spot cream. This is the spot cream race one that I get. I think I'm seeing some good progress with it. I feel like since Mexico, everything's faded quite a bit, but it takes time and it takes patience. Ooh, yeah, more Skims things. Not sure if I'm gonna like this. It is the lounge dress, but one that is shorter. So it's not the one that goes all the way to the ground. So it's just like a tank sort of dress. I got it in black and an extra, extra small and an extra small. So we'll have to try those out, see how those fit. Ah, yes, I love these shorts from Aloe. I got them in black a while back and I saw that they just came out with this really pretty green color that's called limestone. And so I picked them up. There's no liner in this at all, but the fit of them is incredible. And I love this green color. So yeah, I'm really excited about those. Ooh, this package. You got So I hit 100,000 meters on hydro. And when you hit that first milestone, you get to choose like a prize. So my prize finally came. I selected a water bottle. <laughs> Who has way too many water bottles? Cause I definitely do. But it's a fun milestone to hit 
really proud of myself for rowing that much. So here's the water bottle, what it looks like. Oh, it twists off. Cute. <laughs> More shoes. You guys, I've been in a shoes mood. So I saw that these were on sale. I have these in black and I wore them in Mexico. But I saw this natural color too and they're really comfortable. So I figured I might as well snag them up while they're on sale. So this just like wraps up around your ankle. Has a little bit of a, like a thong toe to it, square toe. I go true to size, I go size five in these and they fit really, really nice. A way to talk about these things. It is more Skims dupes things that I have. That video will be coming, by the way, update on that, probably towards the end of this month. Some things are just taking forever to come in. Ugh. And last but certainly not least, I ordered this, I don't know, sea grass woven caddy for utensils and stuff off of Amazon. It came a little late for the party. I wanted it for utensils and putting napkins in here, but it's fine i'll keep it and put it out for the next party for whatever sort of gathering that we have this would also be perfect for like a picnic or for like an outside dining room table if you have that just to like carry it from the kitchen outside really like it it smells like it needs to air out for a second it smells very much like i guess seagrass <laughs> it's giving me grass smell but i feel like it's very well made i love this so cute okay that is everything that's everything. That's everything that I got that I wanted to share with you guys. I'll make sure everything is linked down below for you guys. It's going in. Oh, I'm so excited. I still can't believe I ordered six when it was seven. With everyone over at the party, we got so many compliments on the chandelier. That made me happy. Let's turn it on. Ready? Ready. Ta-da. Ta-da. It's so bright, but it's like the perfect color too. Ugh, I hated that other builder chandelier. <laughs> More hungry. I was gonna go for the what? leftover spring rolls, like a couple of them. Transparent or not transparent? Uh, the transparent, those are spring rolls. The other ones are egg rolls. You should try the egg rolls. You guys know how much I love Formula One. I ordered this book a while ago on Amazon and it just came in the mail, I think yesterday. And so I started looking through it a little bit. I actually want to start from the beginning and really read through it. So yay, I'm excited. This is going to be the perfect book to add to my bookcase and collection. <laughs> my brother's fiance is from Vietnam and she makes the best food ever. And lucky us, she wanted to make a little bit for her own baby shower. She was just very adamant about it. So we kept some of the leftovers. And so I'm gonna eat some of the spring rolls right now. Oh, you guys, these are delicious. Juan is heating up some leftover egg rolls and then I had leftover fried rice yesterday. Oh, it's amazing. She makes this dipping sauce to go along with the spring rolls. I have no idea what it's called. She says, I think, if I remember correctly, right, babe, that it's sticky rice with some sort of meat sauce. Yeah. It's delicious to like dip with the spring rolls. Mm. Here we have it, <laughs> my little pretty presentation. Yeah, these are absolutely amazing. Oliver's little paws up on the windowsill. It just like, ugh, it melts my heart every single time. He's so cute, I cannot get enough of him. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog here so that I can start to edit it for you guys and get it up. I hope you guys enjoy spending a few days with me and I will just see you in a couple of days in my next video. Bye guys, love you guys so much. Mwah.